10 videos from Houston Cole and in each video we will break one of his reels to learn them. In this video we are gonna create this reel. This reel is very simple but it has a few tricks that you can learn and use them for your own animations. So without any further ado, let's start. Alright so here we are inside of Adobe After Effects and now let's begin. So here's the animation that we have, let's watch it. You've tried Ecom, you've tried SAS, you've tried SMMA, you've tried Ecom, you've tried SAS. So, so as you see this reel is simple but it has a few tricks that we want to review. So the first thing that we're going to do is that we're going to just create the background and let's just add the fill effect and turn it into a pure black. Okay, this is good. Now let's start with the overall design in here. So as you see we have sort of some doors in here so we can easily create that well to do that what i'm going to do is that i'm just going to go towards the rectangle tool let's just also set its color to white and let's just create a shape like this okay this is good now let's just set the roundness to a number such as like 20 so this is good now i'm just going to call it base and I'm going to duplicate it. This time I'm going to press S to reveal the scale. And I'm going to set this scale to 80. And this is going to be middle one. And of course the one duplicate. And I'm going to set it on 65%. And this one will be the last one. And let's just also attach it to the design like this. So this will be our design. Which is similar to what we have in the Houston Co. Reel. So as you see it's like this. Great, now let's just review the text. So we have a you've tried ecom SS, SAS and SMMA. So let's just quickly write them down. So I'm just gonna write you you've tried. these are going to be our designs let's just also turn off the reel so we can just work on it in here so i'm just gonna fix it in here you've tried and let's just turn these into red color so we have something like this great so here's the basic design that we have for this animation and as you see it was really simple now let's go to the details which i think makes this reel really worth it so if i reveal the reel one more time you will see that if i zoom it i will have some chromatic aberration effect in here and there are two ways to in order to achieve that one one is with the deep glow effect and one with the red giant magic bullet so you will need the external plugins for that so what i'm going to do is that i'm just gonna create an adjustment layer so and i'm gonna place it beneath the text and i'm gonna add the deep blow effect now you can use the version one or version two it doesn't really matter now the version two is a bit extreme i'm gonna set the radius to okay, let's say 250 and i'm gonna turn down the exposure all the way down to a number such as this number then i'm just gonna go towards the chromatic aberration i'm gonna enable the chromatic aberration for both of these channels and you can in here just change it for example to red and green or red and blue and green and blue so i'm just gonna set it on red and green but right now as you see it's a little bit too extreme for the deep glow effect and then once once you can, once you have done that, you can also do this adjustment layer, remove it, and you can add the chromatic aberration. And I'm gonna add the chromatic aberration by um, body effects, and then we can just increase the distortion, get that chromatic look that we want. So if we want to increase it, we can just do something like this. But I think it's just overall so much extreme we can turn off these layers so you can see it better but you can just play with the settings to get the look this is just to give you the idea how it works and then you can add at the end you can just change its color to get what you want so right now the overall seems to be too much so i think about 
here should be good and this is the chromatic aberration effect that we had for this text now it is time to move on towards the animating the camera which i think it's easy so we have done that a lot in the recent videos so i'm just going to turn these layers into 3d and then i'm just going to add a new camera let's just set it on one node or two node doesn't matter so i'm just going to choose two nodes and the preset let's just set it on 50 millimeter and let's hit ok now what i'm going to do is that i'm just going to create a null object in order to control the camera better and i'm going to set the master controller let's just call it the master controller one and then i'm just going to pan it the camera to the controller now it's all about the animating so i'm just going to rotate the x value for like say like 50 and then i'm just going to set a position keyframe in here and in a few frames forward i'm just going to set another one and uh, if we open the reel, we're just not going to copycat, but just to give you an idea how it works, you will see that we have a zoom in effect, and then we have a slight pop up, and then a zoom out effect at the end. So let's just mm, recreate this. This should be easy. And I'm just gonna readjust it to something like this. But now let's just work on the text as well. So I'm just going to use the slide and pop up for the text. So slide and pop in. I'm just going to use it for the um, you've tried. So let's just extend it so we can see it better. So as you see, we will have something like this. It's a bit so slow. Let's just turn it down to here. Now you can just add the same preset effect by going to animation. A recent and recent animation presets and then you can choose this light and pop in effect or you can use the control alt shift and f together to get that effect so i'm just gonna quickly use the control alt shift and f to add it towards the next set of the text so we will have something like this and now what we can do is that we just offset these keyframes really quickly Ecom, SAS, and SMMA. So that's good, but let's just extend it a bit further because we need to give it a distance between each of these words. You've tried Ecom, SAS, and then SMMA. Okay, that's good. Now let's just work on the camera animation. So I think this will be much easier now. So we have a zoom out, which I think it's pretty too much. So let's just zoom it till here. It should be until you've tried so about here should be good and then let's just set the easing on 65 percent and let's just push the ecom about here we don't need that you've tried ecom that's exactly what we want and now when it's in here we can just press ctrl plus shift plus d to cut the beginning of the first node and do and make a duplicate of it so we are just going to remove the keyframes from it and we're gonna push the null about here and then we're gonna set another keyframe we're gonna go to here and then we're just gonna push this up and, and as you see it doesn't work because we really need to parent the first null to the second null so now it's about here you've tried ecom now let's just give it about 65 percent influence as well let's watch it we've tried ecom that's good and now let's duplicate the null again and let's also parent it so we don't forget let's remove these keyframes let's set up another set of keyframes in here and we can just now you know push it a bit in this time so something like this i'm not copycatting the entire reel you've tried sas You've tried Ecom, you've tried SAS, and we can just push it further out. I think this will make it better. And now we can readjust the text in here. And then what we need to do is that we need to also push the text a bit further. And once it's in here, when we see the Ecom, we need to turn down the opacity like this. So it gets sort of less brighter. 
So you have tried Ecom, you have tried SAS. And lastly, we can just do something pretty quick. We can just duplicate this node one more time, removing its keyframes and then parenting it to the mm, last node. We are just gonna create a zoom plus a rotation keyframe. And let's just say a rotation and a zoom out effect. I'm just gonna, let's say, I'm just gonna rotate it for more like this. And then I'm just gonna zoom out so we can have access to how it was in the original. Something like this, I would definitely say I'm happy with it. So you've tried SAS, you you tried Ecom, you tried SAS, you tried SMMA, and now you need to push the SMMA a bit further down. And let's just also set it on here, something like this. So as you see, this reel was super easy, and then we can just repeat the same pattern for the opacity of the SAS and then you can just set it on for less opacity say like 34 it was so as you see here's our final result but I think before the final result I need to work on the second movement right now it's too abrupt in my liking so let's just push it a bit down like this So here's the creative one that I have created and as you see it was super easy to make this animation and I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed this video don't forget to leave out a like and subscribe to the channel as it would help me out a lot. Thank you so much. Goodbye.